What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Guess what has arrived? Let's open this. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Want to U-turn when possible? No, we're not U-turning. Alright y'all, got the call from the post office this morning while I was at work, so as soon as I got off work I went and picked these harmless live isopods up, and that's what's marked on the box. So I'm not going to stall anymore, let's get these guys into their enclosures. Now you guys remember, you guys remember um, not, too, not too far back I went on ahead and prepped up the bin, so as soon as I got these guys home, all I have to do is Put them in their enclosures without having to make up an enclosure. All right, let's see. Got 12 dairy cows and 12 of the zebras. So, from my lesson from the last time I ordered something, I want to pull these guys out and count them and make sure they're all still alive because this this breeder offers a um, live arrival guarantee. So let me go get a. Oh no, nope, don't need to go anywhere. I got me a plastic plastic bin right here. I'm gonna put them in here very gently. Let me bring you guys in close so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and these are the dairy cows, which I was very interested in because of their colors. Let's see. They're black and white. Wow. Oh, God, they're huge. Oh, my goodness, y'all. All right, y'all, here they are. Porcilio Lavis. And this this breed does not curl up like the roly polies. And to be honest, I'm feeling a little grossed out by these things. Started thinking about roaches and when that giant one touched me, <laughs> I, I kind of freaked out a little bit. And that's that's the biggest one in there. That one, let's see, here's my finger. It's big. It's a big boy. Or girl. Very happy with these. Okay, see, they these do this little thing here where they lay still, and I like they're dead. It's like they fold all their legs up underneath and, and go very still. Oh boy, have an escapee. Get on there. Go ahead, baby. There you go. Oh, there you go. So, I believe, I believe I got 13. I pulled two out of this sphagnum moss here. That's why I set it up here loose, so in case any come out, I can catch them right away. So, I'm going to count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 13, which a lot of the breeders, they'll put in an overcount just in case one dies. So, very, very well done. Well packaged. And this is the sphagnum moss that they were shipped in. And I'm going to dump this in the container with them also. So, let's go ahead and pull that down and... Move all this stuff out of the way. Go ahead and get these guys in their new home very quickly. All right, y'all, I got them in their new home. And I put in also two spoonfuls of springtails in there so that uh, they can help break down the decaying matter and any kind of mold or fungus that shows up in there. The springtails will also help take care of that. So... Yeah, I'm very, very excited about this this breed here. And these guys are just out exploring their new surroundings, which is kind of cool because a lot of these isopods are really shy, and as soon as there's a light on them, they disappear very quickly. So I'm happy that they're 
just out walking around chilling yes and I do like the mix here. I got some juveniles, I got sub-adults, and I have a few large adults like this one here. I mean, look how big that one is. Holy moly. And I don't think that's the biggest one. I think there was another one that was even bigger than that one. But, yes, very happy indeed. So, I'm going to close these guys up and let them do their isopod thing. And bring back the other zebras and see how they're doing. All right, these are the smaller ones, the uh, Armadillidium maculatum, the zebras. All right, now time to get these guys out. These are a lot smaller, a little less uh, roach-like, <laughs> or roach-looking. Boy, them roach-looking ones, ooh. Yeah, I don't do no roaches now. And there are a lot of people that love to breed all these different roaches. I saw one today. That was the size of somebody's hand. That thing was, oh God, oh, ooh, it's giving the heebie-jeebies just talking about it. Mm -mm. Tiffany Outdoors don't do no roaches, y'all. Uh uh. Sphagnum moss. I'm gonna keep that and put it in the enclosure after I pull them out and count them all. There you go, buddy. All right, I believe these guys are done doing the hunk of chunk of. <laughs> they were going at it for over an hour, probably about almost two hours. All right. Beautiful. Gorgeous. This right here is a sub adult. It'll get bigger and make babies. Well, a little bit bigger. All right, let me put this guy down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I had fourteen in this one. Let me count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I think there's two on here. Yep, got fourteen of these. Got a big one there. Got a really big one right there. That's the biggest one in here. Got one huge one, and then the rest of them are smallish. Very smallish, but um, I like that there's a mix in here because that way you have adults, sub adults, and juveniles. That way the adults, because you don't know how long these the big ones are going to live. I mean, their lifespan could be shortened. You just never know. So I am glad I have a really nice mix. So I think it's time to put these guys in their enclosure. And I only have one dead one. And it looks like a gravid female. Come on, kiddos. There we go. All right, I'm very happy and very satisfied with this, these unboxings that I have. And I'm going to give you guys the name of this uh, person. And this is their, their website. Just go to mtpetemporium.com and or you can send her an email her name is misty and thank you misty very good box very good unboxing very very nice specimens all right everybody that's all i have for today i'm very excited about these guys and hopefully they'll be breeding and increasing their numbers uh, probably be a few months or several months to get that going and then I want to build some showcase terrariums for some of these guys so look out for that video in the upcoming months and I want to thank you for watching and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video bye